What's up guys, we're headed out to YCS Minneapolis. It's gonna be fun, I think. I'm gonna try and capture as much fun stuff as I can find. Really bad lighting right now, but I'm gonna see you guys there. We got a quick trip. I'm kind of late to the plane, so we'll see if we make it. I'm headed over to the convention center to see what's going on. The place is actually pretty nice. Not very cold at all. I think we might have caught it on a really good day. It was really nice, but it's pretty far north, so I feel like we're getting lucky here, but we'll see. Well, that's good. Hey, what's up? Getting some glorious B-roll footage. Well, you're gonna have to uh, keep us updated because you're the one who's in the tournament. So, yep. if you it's win, all on me. I'm claiming uh, credit for it. So, Absolutely. keep that in mind. Team Rugs. Hello. He's here. What's up, dude? How are you? The king. How you doing? The man himself, Mr. Viral. What's up, Ruxin fan? <laughs> Ooh, this is nice stuff you got here. What's up? Yo, man. <laughs> you want to say your name? Eric. Eric. Yeah. Eric, nice binder you got here, man. Ultimate rare? Is this an ultimate? Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. No, that's sick. Colossus, bring it back, baby. I got nine of these waiting in the, waiting for the unbanned. This is the, the, the cool one. Oh, this is the no-name? Yeah. I have a no-name uh, BLS link. Really? It's pretty cool. Oh, yes. Play set. I like it. You finally made it. I made it. We only had to wait like... hundred uh, long. Yeah, a couple hours. It really wasn't that long. <laughs> yeah, we still out here, though. Yeah, let's We're go, baby. Here. Time to get some food. Let's do it. This video is sponsored by Factor. Factor is one of my favorite brands to work with because I absolutely love their product. One of my absolute favorite things that they have are smoothies that are really tasty and super filling. So if you're a guy like me that just working on something like I'm packing orders or I'm making videos, editing videos, I like to grab a smoothie and just drink it while I'm working. And it's super easy to like eat. You don't have to like go out and buy it. You don't have to go to somewhere that makes smoothies. You don't have to go somewhere that makes food. You don't even have to make your own food, which is super convenient. And convenience is super important when you're someone like me who is constantly working. And I know it's probably a problem. I shouldn't work this much, but being on YouTube, it feels like I always need to be making videos and doing stuff like that. So the convenience of Factor is amazing. It's easy to keep up with nutritional goals when you have portioned meals by Factor. Counting calories and stuff like that becomes easy because you already have all the info on the thing you're eating. And it also fits all kinds of lifestyles like keto, calorie smart, vegetarian, vegan, and you just have so many options. I'm personally a huge fan of Factor's product as well as the fact that they're supporting my channel. So if you guys are interested in that and you wanna support me, go check out the link down below or go to go.factor75.com or use code POGRUXEN60 for 60% off your first box. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. Yeah, I <laughs> Had to get up too early. EOP and Rex. Team Rex starting right now. Headed to day one. We out here. Get day zero was lit. Day one, we're gonna get a quick top. We're gonna have the flunders rolling. Yes. It's gonna be insane. It's actually still feels pretty good out here. Surprisingly, I thought it was supposed to be cold up here, but apparently not. Let's see if we can find some cool cards today. Prediction of the record, what's it gonna be? X1 going into day two, baby. Okay, all right, one loss. We're gonna be keeping up, so let us know when you've lost your one that you're gonna lose. <laughs> Look at this. Those are sick. Sick. How'd it go? We gave up the X1, we're going undefeated from here. Yeah, good start. Yeah, just let the first person, you're going to lose this bracket on purpose, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's like okay, a fighting nice. game tournament. Nice. We just played in the GOAT format event and I went 0-1, classic. I lost, but it was still really fun. Hopefully we're gonna get to do it again because I'm switching up decks for sure. The Relinquish deck, not cut it, but it was still fun to run, go for Mad. It's cool that they're actually doing it here at the YCS, so hopefully we'll get to do another round. We'll see. Mr. Sassiato, uh, yeah. it looks like you, had, you guys had a tough loss today in the finals. Yeah, it was it was rough. They, they got us in the first match, and uh, yeah, it, all downhill from there. All downhill from all there. Downhill okay, from what there. do you tell your team after a loss uh, like this? Yep. Uh, they outcoached us today. We're going to get them next week. Okay, next week yep. we'll be back. We'll be ready. Yep. Uh, to turn it all around. Yes, sir. Put me okay. in, coach. Put, Put me in. in, coach. Put me in, coach. You're bitch. We have three GOAT format entry packs. 
Dimension Force. We're gonna pull a Starlight right now. We are here with some epic old school packs. Shout out to, what's your Instagram name? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Profit underscore. Yu-Gi-Oh! Profit underscore. He brought us some packs to open at the YCS. So we're gonna do a little mini pack battle. We got three each. Let's see what we can do. You wanna go first or me? Yeah, absolutely. I'll start with RDS. What's good, Ruxin fans? We're about to open some Dimension Force. We're gonna pull some Liberal Mancer Fire. Okay. All right, am I too close? You're good. Okay. Oh yeah? I can't see the cards. Surprise Let's chain. Let's go. Symphonic Warrior DJ Chain. Backup okay. team. Try to play a buy list. All Ice right. Chain Curse. Ooh, Ooh. Star of Venom, Prime Power, Pigeon Dragon. Here. We'll take that, not bad. Hell yeah, dude. Nightmare Penguin, back to square one. Creeping Doom Manta and Flint. Ooh, the oh, Flint. That's unfortunate. All right, that's fine. That's fine. It's a slow start, but you need to rise to destiny. I'm going to start with the rise to destiny as well. Let's go. The liberal agenda, Tucker Carlson's favorite deck in the Yu-Gi-Oh format. <laughs> I cannot open this pack. We got MBT Junior in the house. Well, I had to steal his joke. You know, I, <laughs> I pay my father weekly. All right, perfect. <laughs> because he skipped the YCS, so we Fairy gotta on? pretend like he's here. Plant. Branded loss, my loss. Al Ghul Mazera. Uh, heroic champion, battle guard yes. cadet. Uh, well, I can't read that upside down. That's a pillow down. right uh, there. Therion Duke. Hey, Gentrude again! Okay, that's okay, that's okay. We started off the supers. Let's see what we can get out of some old school packs. 2004, is that when these are from? Something like that? Yeah, I believe so. All right, let's go. Kazaki, very nice. Harpy Lady 3, we're doing some Good. long range yeah. here. So you got Harpy Lady 1, movement. let's go. Bukoichi, okay, oh. wrong guy, wrong guy. Mind Hacksworks, okay. Harpy Girl, okay, the little uncensored, not bad. Oh, okay, with the back square one, and okay, it's the next one. We got the light and the load, and oh, the mech chaser. All right, hanging on the covered fire. All right, you're up next. Two backs to go. Here it comes, Starlight. Rivalry of Warlords is gonna give us luck. We have the Scareclaw, the something. Yeah. Lots of zombies. Okay. Heroic Challenger Morningstar. Predator Plant Triantis. Mad Mall, General Probe. Predator Plant Buy List. Hot Eyes Winged Dragon. That's a super rare. All right, that's okay. One more. These are my packs, so I want a Starlight. I've not pulled one yet. If I today. pull, if I so. pull a Starlight, I am going to you pull a Starlight. Uh, do a an amalgamation of different things that involve bodily functions. Anyway, uh, Heroic <laughs> oh, Champion oh boy, Morningstar, oh Dogmatic Allergy, Al Ghul Mazera, Branded Loss, Backup Team, Symphonic Warrior DJJ, Heroic Champion, Scareclaw and Billown. Oh, I pulled that guy earlier, too. Yeah, this, this is going to just be the same three Final packs. Final pack, baby. He's a pendulum boy, so there you go. Let's go. All right, I'm going for the Soul of Duelist. Um, I have no idea if this is hobby or retail or not, so I don't know if we're pulling Horus, I think is his name, correct? Oh yeah, that'd be insane. Ooh, Any horse butchered awesome. the pack. Oh, the right. sandwich. Try and get that professional. Oh yeah. Two-man right cell battle. Dark mimic. Lion crush. Oh yeah. Hammer shot. Ooh. It's okay, okay. Sorry, we're for three. We're just saving it for the end though. Give us something good. Something epic. All right, the cluster, the no, yum, 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 yum. the war the rocks. Rock Ooh, nice. The tail. Symphonic Warrior DJJ, Therion stand up, and... Ah! Performer Pal, Gentry. Hey, ultra rare though, it's still pretty good, we'll take it. I am Trip's son, yes. Yeah, you're we Trip's son, son, I'm Joseph's son. We got Joseph's son. son. A lot of sons around here. Miss uh, Dice Games, Spring Sea Mare, Branded Loss, Scareclaw Astra, Devouring Sarcophagus, Vivid Tail, Battle Guard Cadet, V-Land Hydra, and... Oh. Oh, just another whiff. It's Sorry, Roxxon fans, I couldn't help you. No! All right, that actually looks like maybe something back there. Let's see, we got the Protector of the Sanctuaries. I'm going to try and do this. Order to Charge. We've got the Mermaid Knight. I don't even remember this card. Got Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. I remember that one. Piranha Army. Oh, Dual Link Special for farming right there. We've got the Human Wave Tactics. A lot of those monkey monkeys. Solar Flare Dragon, a little burn damage. And here we go, is this it next? We have a Law of the Normal. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's the next one, let's do this. Let's, let's reveal it. Will it be a foil, our first one? Ooh, Zaborg. Right. Thunder Monarch, that's actually a great card right there. Super rare. Very nice, I'm winning the pack battle. Oh, so far. Let's go. All right, but if we can pull Shining Flare in here, that would be amazing. I think we would win that one, yeah. All right, let's do it. 
Let's I don't go. think I see anything there, but... It's okay, it's okay. You just gotta believe. Oh, I'm messing up the card trick. Here. Bonding, H2O. Yes. Familiar Possessed. Oh, oh King's Knight. All right. Ultimate Rear would have been cool, too. Am I finally winning? going to win a pack battle. I think unless, I, unless I get negative foils here, then I think I'm going to be fine. <laughs> here we go. This one is Shadow Infinity. I forgot to say that. First edition. Mm -hmm. Good potential. You can even get uh, Treeborn Frog if it's a retail pack, which is pretty good. Never pull the Sacred Beast. Let's see if we can do it. Hero Kid. Ant Eater Eating Ant. We've got the Elemental Hero, Neil Bubble Man. Success probability, 0%. Saber Beetle. Magnet Circle Level 2. We've got <laughs> Disciple the Forbidden Spell. And it's the next one. The next one. Ancient Gear. Oh, oh, the man. Doom Dozer. All right. Oh. Well, at least we got a foil. We yeah, got we a got, foil. It something. works pretty good. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. So thanks again, man, for yeah, bringing the cool. packs. That was awesome. A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We actually got to open some packs today. So yeah. pretty sick. Post game again. interview. After giving Ruxin his first win of the day. He let me summon Stardust Dragon, which I'm happy because I got to activate Stardust. Yeah. Whatever Starlight Road thingy. Sure. First win of the day, though. Starlight Road for Starlight Tomorrow Stardust. Tomorrow we are making a, an epic comeback in Edison uh, events. It's gonna oh, happen. yeah. And then, how'd it go? Uh, X3 drop, but got Stardust and Morphing Jar and CR tip. So we, we recovered on the day. Pretty good day. We Let's recovered on the day. Day two. Yeah, let's go, baby. We're in the top cut. VOP and Rux out on the town again. Yeah. <laughs> Time for a little breakfast. Here we go. All right. He wants me to do this, so we're going to get it on video that it was not my idea. All right, here we go. <laughs> let's see. All right, we did it. Awesome, yeah, thank it you. It has been ruined officially. <laughs> thank you. No problem. Have a nice day. You too, man. All right, well, guys, I played four four events, lost in the first round in all four of them. It was great. So made it to game three three times. Some pretty epic duels, actually. I just was in Edison, and we went to game three time. We had to do, like, by turns or something. I lost in the third game, so it was it was a good one, but yeah, it was fun playing Edison and Goat. I just suck, so maybe next time we're going to get a new deck. I'm going to be better somehow. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's been fun playing those, so I hope they continue that with the Time Wizard thing because that was the most fun I've had playing side events, so hopefully that's a new thing. All right, guys, I wanted to highlight a few of the pickups that we got while in Minneapolis before I go back because I want to you know, still have the vlog vibe, so I haven't left the hotel yet. I didn't pick up a lot of cards, but I picked up a lot of quality cards, so you guys know what I say, quality over quantity. So the first few cards I picked up were three ultimate rare Thousand Eyes Restrict. These I got from VOP, who I've been with the entire weekend, but he had these available, so I traded them for some other pretty cool cards. So these will be going into my Go deck probably, but they absolutely look amazing. Like you gotta take these over the Pharaoh Servant First Edition, even though these are actually cheaper. It's like $50 or 60 or something, really cheap. But I mean, check those out. That is insane. So I was super happy to grab those. Really gonna be a nice addition to the GOAT deck. I also picked up a few other cards. The next couple I picked up, I picked up a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Ghost Rare. So as you can see, it's not perfect. There's some like scratches and stuff on it, but this is gonna be perfect for my binder. It's not like mint, but it is pretty close. I mean, that's probably like the worst you're gonna see on it. It's like, yeah, that's not great, but it's still a pretty nice card. So I'm gonna put that in my binder. Pretty excited to add that to the Gosher collection. Then I picked up an ultimate rare Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. This looked like near mint to me when I checked it out. It looks super nice. Like the back has a little bit of scuffing, but not too much. Then the front looks insane. Like look at those level stars, those look so good. Really awesome looking card. I've got a double sleeve because it is in great shape. So really excited to pick this one up. And then I picked up two Ghost Rares. We got a Stardust and a Black Rose. So I got these in a trade. Just check those out. I mean, if you don't like Ghost Rares, you're lying to yourself. Check that out. They look insane. They're amazing. So I was glad to pick these up. I think they're like light play, mod play. I can't remember which one is which, but they're very nice. Uh, they weren't too expensive, and you guys know how I feel about Ghost Rares, so I picked those up. Then we have the last two cards. One is actually not for me, but the other one is the reason I actually got these. So we have the signed Greg Abbey You Say Stardust Dragon. So as you can see, these were $400 each. Uh, one of the vendors had these. I posted these on my Instagram story and somebody hit me up and said, hey, pick this up for me. I'll pay you a finder's fee. And they paid a pretty decent finder's fee on it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just grab both of them and I'll, and I'll keep the other one. So 
pretty cool. I'm actually glad they did that because I actually really like this. It's a really cool card. You might not be a signed card fan, but honestly, I mean, I'm kind of won over at this point. They actually had a, a, a Black Rose signed as well for like 200. It must have been really messed up because these are like mod play, light play, and they're still 400, which is probably a little too high, but I still bought them. I actually don't know what the signature does because it se seems like it just depends on who you are, but the Black Rose must have been mosh, but I would have bought it for 200, but it was gone by the time I got there. So I picked these up, really, really cool. One is mine, one is for a viewer, so pretty excited to actually get these. I mean, this is just really cool. So hopefully I can collect some more signed cards in the future. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Let me know your opinion on signed cards in the comments. And uh, that's all my single cards that I picked up. I also have three more packs that I never opened for uh, my, my entry fee and Edison and stuff like that. Let's just see what we can get. I'm going to open up these real quick. The lighting is not fantastic here because we're using a lamp at the hotel. So if there's a starlight, it'll still be cool. Let's just see. I got it on the wrong spot. Maybe I'm going to have to do this backwards so I don't have the shadow. Let's do it like this. There we go. A little left-handed action. Yeah, pretty insane. Exclusion. Orochi, we've got the Bugroth, Scareclaw, Devouring Sarcophagus, Vivid Tail, and a Navy Dragon Mech. We got a super rare right off the bat. Not crazy. Two packs to go. Let's see what we can get. Our last couple packs of YCS Minneapolis. It's been a great time, actually. I've had a lot of fun. So hope you guys have enjoyed watching the vlog. I don't know how it's going to come out, but I took a ton of videos. So I hope that it's really cool. Bread of Plant, uh, Buffalo Kia. We've got the DJJ. The backup team doing this left-handed is kind of awkward. Biblisp, we've got the Ice J Curse. Okay, doesn't look like a Starlight. It looks like a Super Rare. All right, we're at Super Rare Town again. Two Super Rares, one more to go. Hopefully not a Super Rare one more, but we'll see. Can we pull something good? We got to do it left-handed again. We have Supreme C Mare. We'll make a judgment. Hero Challenger. Oh, the Ruxin Special. Oh no, that was a musical Simo. Simo, that was not right. Mad Mauler. Oh, that is a creepy card. You got the General Probe and a Ruxin Special again, Motor Frenzy. All right, what a way to end that double Ruxin Special pack. All right, the event is over. It was great. Wind, oh, God. Got some wind, bought some ball, played some games. We got a few cards, it was pretty nice. And we got some good pickups, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Is this the SEMO special here?